I like to subscribe to all that you know time it is, is Netflix time. This series is called Fishbowl Wives. Now I know you're thinking to yourself right out the back, what the heck is a fishbowl wife? Well we got eight episodes to find out. Episode one, let's get it. Right out the back, you got a shower scene. Mr. Takuya giving a business to this random lady. And the reason why I say random lady, cause she ain't his wife. Meanwhile, his wife soccer is entering the building. And on top of that, it's her birthday today. So I know you're thinking to yourself, a husband's doing dirt. And she's in a building somewhere across town, right? Cause I find out this shit is happening in the same damn building. This guy's disrespectful and got serious balls to pull off something like this. Then we got Sakura and a bunch of her friends gathered around. Here to talk with this relationship guru. This chick is wondering about what to do when a baby comes. And she wants to have children, but she ain't ready for it yet. And then she asks her, have you considered getting a pet? Maybe like a dog or a cat or a goldfish? You gotta start your transition from small, then you get to the big. Then she starts talking about goldfish because it has the word gold in its name. And in feng shui terms, gold represents prosperity. Then the guru starts talking about infidelity. This chick can't take that issue. She's probably got issues with that right now. What is this? What the hell is this damn harlot doing at that table? And then comes over the table, starts talking shit. Right across from Sakura. Now I usually think to myself, when you see somebody's laughing and smiling off stuff like this, they got a killer instinct inside of their soul. But she's got other mental issues going on. Not all her fault, but I'll explain that later. So somebody asks her about the fragrance she's wearing, and it's some gold rose, rose fragrance. The same time Sakura uses. That's right, this harlot's been using your shit. She needs to tee off of this bitch right now. And here comes the culprit, Takuya, walking it all casually like nothing happened. And then he needs it for a presentation. So as a birthday present, they're announcing the grand opening of another new salon. So apparently back in the day, they started off with a salon together, built it into a global conglomerate. And now the day-to-day -day operations, he's basically running the whole shit. But why is it just him? Hmm. So apparently this new shop is going to be the shop that she's going to be able to run. Or so we assume. Then she's back in the room getting ready to go to bed. She posts up the stuff that took place today. Birthday pictures and all that. Yeah, that's right. That Harley had on your perfume, damn it. So it seems like she's about to ask her husband to cool you or something. But the only thing he wants to know is if she posted up the pictures. So you know, this guy is rude right off the top. If I haven't already explained that within the first minute. Next day, she's by herself going by the pier thinking about life. And we get a flashback to happier times with the two. So apparently something happened back then when she couldn't be a stylist. But he still wanted to be involved with the salon. But I think at this point, he's put more of his money into it. So now she's walking around the market. She sees little, little kids with goldfish. And she's going by the store admiring goldfish. Then all of a sudden, you see this dude with a hose on the roof and she's getting hit with all this water she's like what the fuck man he didn't even realize he was spraying her with water he goes about to give her a towel and then that's when she finds out he actually owns this goldfish shop and why exactly is it a goldfish shop because everything he sells is goldfish no other type of fish just goldfish i'm not really tripping off him selling goldfish it's more the fact that how did he obtain all of those and put them all in one shop nevertheless that's what he does so he introduces her to a fish called the sakura goldfish and she wants it automatically because she feels connected to it that and the fact that it has her name too but she's not sure if she got buy a goldfish she's got to ask her husband first but we feel connection already a little bit so she comes back home and asks her husband because she bought goldfish but he doesn't really care he's like do whatever you want so she's like all right i'm about to give me a goldfish next day sakura is doing all these preparations for the salon she even wanted to take her face off of the picture so she could highlight her husband in the salon making sure he gets the most recognition what a wonderful outstanding lady what does she get for her troubles when he walks in? He gets mad because the changes were made without his consent. Why oh, is just so angry all the time, man? Then this dude comes back later on with the harlot, goes into the back room with her meanwhile people having customers, and ends up giving her the business in the back room. This guy gives no fucks. Now he keeps saying it doesn't matter if she notices, because apparently he thinks his wife can't go nowhere anyway. Now why is that? Meanwhile, Otaku sees Sakura chilling by the waves, by the harbor. He's like, fuck that shit, you go enjoy yourself today with me. So he takes her by the shop, he teaches her more about fish, and she picks up a glass goldfish. This is going to be very symbolic later on. Then they get some English-speaking customers, and he can't speak English, he needs some help. My fault, they speak Spanish. But she's able to speak a little bit of Spanish, and she helps out at the store. Otaku is eternally grateful, and he lets her keep the glass goldfish for all her help. So apparently her husband doesn't let her do a lot of the day-to-day -day operations like she's supposed to be able to do. But Otaku tells her he can come out any she can come out any time to help him out. Sakura gets back home. She goes in her closet to hang up some clothes. She goes through some boxes and starts reminiscing. And this was her first pair of barber scissors. When she tries to hold them, her hand starts shaking and she ends up dropping the scissors. So what happened to her hand? I'm thinking something very traumatic happened to her back then. Here comes Takuya with his bullshit. So then he sees the goldfish. He says, what the heck is a goldfish doing here? Sakura was like, oh yeah, you told me I can get one. So he acts like he never told her it was okay to get a goldfish. He asks her if she's thinking about starting her own salon again. She's like, nah. And she knows he can't cut, she can't cut hair no more with her hands. So you're like, what the heck happened to her hand? Then he starts getting paranoid talking about don't take my staff with you. Like, what the fuck, dude? Now I know where he just ended up smashing the goldfish bowl. Like, what the fuck the fish do to you? Then we get this flashback to where somebody was saving this little girl's life because a bunch of glass was coming down. Not exactly sure what this represents yet. These eight episodes, we're still talking about the first episode. Oh no, you gotta save the fish. So after her husband dips out, she goes straight to Otaku. He gets a tank, he puts some salt water in it, and saves Sakura the goldfish. Then he tapes her hand up too. He can tell something's up, you know what I'm saying? So then this they're planning to spend the whole day together. He ends up getting on his boat, and they just start yelling out their problems, just to get the frustration out. They're enjoying the day, having a good time. Meanwhile, Takuya still giving Harless the business. 
He don't give a fuck, he don't care about nothing. Apparently later on they got to talking. And we found out Sakura can't really have any kids. So I'm thinking to myself, is it by design? Is it just in her genes? Or did Takuya do some shit? So all in all, they had a great time today. But you can tell Sakura really doesn't want to go back in the house and deal with her husband. And Takuya actually called her at this point. But this time she did not pick up the phone. She let it go to voicemail. And Otaku watches her walk home. But you already know, you can tell her, look at his face. Something ain't right. He don't want to leave. In the elevator, admiring her glass goldfish. Then the guru pops up in the elevator. He starts talking about twin flames and stuff. As she found her soulmate. And automatically she starts thinking about Otaku. Sakura gets back in the house. And all this nice food is prepared out of nowhere. Why is he being nice all of a sudden? I don't like his demeanor at all. Son ain't right. So she tells him he took back the, she took back the goldfish. Then he thought to himself, he was like, hey, you've been gone all day. Did it take you all day to put, take back a goldfish? His antennas are raised. Then she tells him she wants to run the salon. I don't like the way he's walking towards her. I'm not going to show this part, but he ends up slapping her. Talks about all he does is take care of her and whatnot. And we notice that the glass goldfish is right next to her. She picks it up and whacks him straight across the face with it. And then she gets the hell up out of there. She runs and trips and falls on the ground. It's raining. And who's there to save the day with an umbrella? Otaku. He knew something was up. He knew her husband was a piece of shit. Takes her back to his house, wraps her up. You know what I'm saying? Takes care of her and all that. And then she ended up kissing him. A whole lot. But even more than that, he ended up giving her that business. And she fell asleep with the goldfish in her hand. Yes, I thought it was blood at first too. That's actually the glass goldfish. Then all of a sudden we see the vision about the glass breaking again. With the girl saving another girl. But my thing is, why is Otaku having that vision? What's going on here? And that's the first episode for you. Eight episodes, 40 to 45 minutes a piece. Quick watch. I'm about to check all that shit out. Fishbowl wives on Netflix. Check it out. Like, click, subscribe, do all that. You are doing time. This is these out these emails. Ah, this is gonna be big. You get them slogan.